Bwana Yesu asifiwe mtoto. Bwana ni mwema kila wakati na kila wakati Mungu wetu ni mwema. Tunakukaribisha sana siku hii njema ambayo Mungu ametupa katika ibada ya Destiny Kids Service inayokukujia kutoka mjini Nakuru tuko chini ya mtumishi wa Bwana Apostle John Kemani William na Reverend Naomi Kemani. Nami naye kuongoza ni Ticha Cecilia Wairimo nimeokoka Yesu Kristo ni Bwana katika maisha yangu. Naomba tukubali kuomba ili tuweze kuendelea funga macho yako ili tuombe bwana tunakushukuru siku njema ambayo umetujalia tunasema ni asante umetupa uhai umetupa nguvu umetuwezesha kuona siku hii na hata kuweza kuwa na nafasi ya kuhudhuria ibada hii bwana ama bwana tunasema ni asante tunaomba bwana ama bwana tubariki bariki mioyo yetu bariki mawazo yetu tuweze kupokea kile tunachofunzwa siku ya leo na tuweze Bwana kuwa bwana watoto wanaokupendeza wanaokufurahisha na wanaokuwa katika ewe Yesu Kristo tunakuabudu tunakabidhi ibada hii mbele zako watu watakao hudumu walimu watoto bwana wacha roho wako mtakatifu akwe ndio wabaya atakaye tutuongoza na hata akachukua usukani tunaomba hayo yote katika jina la Yesu Kristo na tuseme Amen. Very good mtoto. Sasa wakati huu nataka tusome neno ambalo litatutanguliza na ili tuweze kuingia katika ibada. Na hilo neno litatoka katika kitabu cha Psalms 34 verse 8. Psalms 34 verse 8 inasema aje, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who find safety with him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Mtoto Onja ujue kuwa Bwana ni mwema. Utaojaje? Utaoja kwa kusikiliza neno la Bwana. Unaposikiliza neno la Bwana, unasikia hayo mambo mazuri. Hata nafsi yako unasikia imeuishwa. Kuna jambo unasikia ndani yako na unasikia wow, hayo maneno hilo ambalo linaambiwa ningetaka kulisikia tena na tena na tena. Ule uzuri wa Bwana unaingia ndani yako na unaweza kukaa ndani yako na unakubadilisha. Eh? Pia unapo unapo, unapo soma unaposikiliza eh unapomwimbia unapomtukuza unapoomba ukiyofanya haya yote unasikia kuna kubadilishwa na unaonja na unasikia kuwa Mungu ni mwema katika maisha yako alafu neno limesema aje happy are those who abide who find safety in him wewe mtoto your safety inatoka wapi je we unakimbilia mzazi wako unafikiri hapo ndio safety yako inatoka eh ama dugu zako wakubwa ama kuanzia siku ya leo know that your safety is from the lord na neno linasema aje happy are those who find safety in him for they are saved eh? kwa hivyo ni jambo nzuri sana wakati ambapo tunakuwa watoto wa kulisikiliza neno wa kuomba na wakuweza kufanya mambo ambayo inamtukuza bwana na kuweka tumaini letu na kuweka tegemeo letu eh, kujua kuwa ushwari wetu na usalama wetu uko katika bwana tunafanyika happy people na kwa hivyo mtoto siku ya leo bwana anataka uwe that happy child ambaye atapata hiyo safety in our lord jesus christ na so wakati huu tutafika wakati wa kuomba na tutaomba praise team waje hapa watu tuweze kuimba nyimbo za worship na kisha tutaingia katika kuomba. Na kila mmoja wetu atafungua kinywa chake aweze kuomba maana Mungu anasikiliza maombi ya watu wake hata maombi yako kama mtoto anasikiliza na anajibu maombi. Worship team karibu tafadhali.
katika hiyo hali mtoto nataka tuombe na tutaanza kwa kumshukuru Bwana tumwambie yeye ni mwema funga macho yako ambia Mungu ni mwema mshukuru kwa wema wake amekupea uhai amekuamsha siku ya leo amekupea nguvu amekupea uwezo wa kwenda shuleni hebu mwambie yeye ni mwema mshukuru maana ametenda mema katika maisha yako kama mtoto amekujalia mahitaji yako chakula chako cha kila siku mavazi unayovaa marafiki unaoongea nao unaocheza na hao hilo ni jambo njema ambalo Mungu amefanya katika maisha yako wazazi ambao wanakulinda guardians ambao wanakuchunga brothers and sisters and families mwambie yeye ni mwema anastahili heshima anastahili utukufu maana ametutenda mema kama watoto ametujalia mambo mazuri katika maisha yetu anatupea uwezo wa kufurahia uwezo wa kucheza uwezo wa kusoma wa kusikiliza walimu yeye ni mwema Mungu tunasema ni asante pokea heshima na utukufu wewe ni mwema haulinganishwi na chochote tunakiri kuwa wewe ni bwana na sisi tunakupenda sana kama watoto tunaomba ewe Mungu wetu tusaidie kuzidi kukua katika kujua kukujua wakati huu tunakuomba mtoto ombea mtoto mwenzako ombea rafiki yako ombea kama ni jamii yako mtu yeyote ambaye unamjua ambaye unamkumbuka muombe mwambie Mungu bwana wabariki awatende mema awalinde awapee nguvu awapee uhai awapee uzima awasaidie wawe watu wazuri wewe watoto wazuri watakao mpendeza bwana na wampende wa, wa, wa bwana kama jinsi ambavyo wewe mtoto umemjua Mungu na hao tawa wamjue Mungu wacha tumuombe tuwaombe tuwa bwana tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya watoto wenzetu umetupa marafiki umetupa ndugu umetupa dada umetupa wazazi na sisi tunawaombea siku ya leo kama watoto tunaomba ukawabariki wape chakula chao cha kila siku wape mavazi bwana wasaidie mfamo wa wafame katika shughuli zao za kila siku katika kutoka kwao na hata kurudi nyumbani zao mfame tunaomba ukawalinde bwana ama bwana ukazidi kuwabariki na hata kuwainua maana wewe ni Mungu unayebariki asante sana Mungu wetu sasa mtoto naomba tuombe watoto ambao hawamjui Mungu wewe Mungu amekusaidia unaweza hata kuketi usikilize ki, e, ibada kama hii uweze kufunzwa neno la Mungu uweze kumjua Mungu na kuna wale ambao hawajasikia kuna wale ambao hawapati nafasi kuna wale ambao hawajaelekezwa kuna wale ambao Mungu angetaka wafikiwe na habari njema angetaka wakue watoto wazuri watoto wanao mtii Mungu watoto wanao mjua Yesu na wanaoishi maisha ambayo inampendeza waombe Mungu waweze kuwasaidia waweze kumjua waweze kumpenda waweze kufunguliwa wengine ni wagonjwa omba Mungu aweze kuwaponya hata labda kuna mwenye unajua ni mgonjwa huyu Mungu anaponya anatenda mambo mazuri muombe aweze kutoka katika hiyo hali Bwana tunakushukuru kwa ajili hata ya watoto wenzetu hata majamii zetu Bwana ambao hawajakujua Bwana tunaomba mfamo wa wafame uwasaidie wakujue waweze kubadilika waweze kuishi maisha inayokupendeza waweze kuokoka waweze kukujua ewe Yesu waweze Bwana wa mabwana hata hao kuwa ambao watoto ambao watakao pokea uzima wa milele tunaombea hata wale ambao hawasikii vizuri Mungu wetu tunaomba ukawaponya magonjwa yao yote Bwana wengine wanapitia hali gumu wengine hawana chakula wengine hawana mavazi wengine hawana mahali pa kulala Mungu wetu sisi kama watoto tunawalilia mfame tunaomba ukawasaidie ukawaguze kwa mkono wako wa ajabu Bwana wakapata mahitaji yao Bwana wakapata kufunguliwa wakapata kuokolewa wakapata kuponywa Bwana wa mabwana maana wewe ni Mungu unayetenda na mahali popote unapoenda Yesu wewe unatenda mema Bwana tunazidi kuomba Jehova hata katika taifa letu Mungu likumbuke litende mema na sisi sote Bwana tuweze kuishi pamoja kwa upendo na kwa umoja kama wana wa taifa hili kwa ajili ya sifa na utukufu wa jina lako na sisi sote tumeomba na sasa tuseme amen na natumai kuwa mtoto mahali popote ulipo hata we umeomba na hata umesema a big amen maana tumesema na iwe hivyo ambavyo tumeomba kwa Mungu wetu na yeye ni mwaminifu anasikia maombi na anajibu na wakati huu tutaingia katika praise to praise our god na mungu anapenda wakati ambapo tunaporitukuza jina lake tunaliletea sifa na hata anapenda wakati ambapo tunamtukuza kwa midomo yetu tunaifungua na kutoa sauti nzuri ambazo ametupea ili kumuimbia na kulitukuza hilo jina sasa karibu sana praise team na wewe mtoto kama ulikuwa umeketi umepiga magoti inuka juu 
eh piga makofi yako na kisha pia uruke tunaporuka na presti mturuke sisi sote na tumshangilie bwana maana yeye ni mwema si tumesema test and see that the lord is good now we are going to praise him welcome praise him
it's very good to praise the Lord and I'm very sure hiyo sifa zimemfikia Mungu na anafurahi katika sifa za watu wake na nakushukuru hata wewe mtoto kwa kumshangilia Bwana kwa kumtukuza Bwana na hata kwa kumsifu Bwana very good sasa wakati huu tutaingia katika presentations kuna watoto ambao wako na presentations wamejiada na wanataka kuzileta mbele yako wewe kama mtoto umakinike usikilize na ubarikiwe na hizo presentations ambazo wanaleta so welcome watoto kwa majina naitwa blessing jerry nimeokoka niko katika grade la saba. na niko tayari kuwakalilia kifungu cha biblia kutoka kitabu cha wakorindo wa kwanza kumi na msari wake ni wa kumi na tatu na inasema jaribu haikuwapata nini isi isipokuwa lililo ya wanadamu bali Mungu ni mwaminifu asiyawacha ujaribu kwa kiasi ambacho uwezi Kati, katika hiyo jaribu Mungu alifungua njia ili uweze kustahimili barikiweni Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe tena kwa majina naitwa Konsata Nyawera kwa grade la pili ya tatu nimeokoka na niko na kifungu cha Biblia kutoka kitabu cha Methari kumi mstari wa kumi na saba inasema akubali yeye kurudiwa kuwa katika nje ya uzima bali yeye achae maonyo hukosa thank you Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena kwa majina naitwa Mary Wanjiru niko darasa la tano nimeokoka na niko na kifungu cha Biblia kutoka kitabu cha Waefeso sula ya tano mstari wa kumi na tano hadi wa kumi na saba inasema basi angalieni sana jinsi mnavyoenenda si kama watu wasio na hekima bali kama watu wenye hekima Mkiukomboa wakati kwa maana zamani hizi ni za uovu kwa sababu hiyo msiwe wajinga bari mfahamu ni nini yaliyo mapenzi ya Bwana santeni Praise God praise God again my name is Isaka I'm grade 1 I'm born again and I have a memory verse welcome Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 it says children obey your parents in the lord for this is right honor your father and mother for this is first commanded in the promise thank you wow that is wonderful wamefanya kazi nzuri na mimi kama mwalimu wao naomba tu appreciate na leo tutawawekea maua tutawapamba kwa maua kwa kazi njema ambayo wamefanya hebu tuinue mikono yetu tuwawekea maua flowers flowers rebesha wa rebeshe upande huu upande ule mwingine kisha tumalizie kwa kuambia well done very good keep it up continuing that na Mungu aendelee kuwainua na kuwafanya watumishi wakubwa katika uibaji, katika kunena, katika kutenda kazi jema. Maana kila mtu, hata wewe mtoto ambao uko mahali pale unaponitazama, unapo una jambo nzuri ndani Mungu ameka ndani yako na nataka ulitoe ili liangaze ulimu wengu na lifanye Mungu ajulikane na lifanye sifa zimrudie yeye. Maana alituumba ili tumtukuze. So very good. Na sasa imefikia wakati ambapo tunaingia katika our last session ambayo ni ya kusikiliza neno. Na tuko na teacher ambaye atatufundisha neno na I hope ile homework ambayo mlipewa na teacher wakati uliopita hiyo ulifanya. So tayarisha kitabu chako, angalia ulipofanya homework na make sure uko na Bible na uko na kalamu. Kisha baada ya hayo Ebu nisaidie tukaribishe ticha ambaye anayekuja na kisha uketi chini vizuri usikilize neno eh, usisumbue usipige kelele na uweze kuinternalize ku, ku kuinternalize ni kupokea kumeditate yale ambayo utakayofunzwa na ticha na hata ukienda huko shuleni ama ukiwa nyumbani fundisha watoto wengine waambie nilisikia ticha akisema hivi na bado ufanye hiyo ambayo ticha atakayokuambia na wewe utakuwa happy utakuwa ule mtoto ambaye ni awa, am, anafurahi anafuraha ya, ya bwana ndani yake na anampendeza bwana na kwa hivyo ticha karibu sana karibu sana tuko tayari kusikiliza neno la bwana na Mungu akubariki haleluya praise the lord amen wow What a wonderful day that the Lord has made that we may rejoice and be glad in him. 
So tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya nafasi nyingine tumekuwa na ibada mzuri tumeweza ku praise ku worship na ku pray na kusikiza presentations na sasa it is our time to listen from the Lord to hear his word kwa sababu ametutayarishia a message a lesson for us to have so nimeokoka naitwa Tita Frida na ninakukaribisha sana ungana na mimi tuweze ku learn our lesson today na our lesson today it is a life of purpose but before we see it last sunday tita alitupatia homework ni tita mgani alitufunza mm -hmm. tita cecilia na alitufunza kuhusu the names of god na akatupatia homework alituambia lower classes alituambia we draw a tree and on the fruits we hang the 10 different names of god tarudia we draw a tree to tore mti and on the fruits, kwa his of fruits, to nini, we hang ten different names of God. Did you draw a tree? Did you write the different names of God ambazo tulifunzwa for the last two Sundays? If you did that, you have ten marks. Then, for the upper classes, number one, we were to list and discuss any three names of God learned in that lesson. We list and discuss any three names of God that you learned during that lesson. And the first one was Jehovah Rapha. That is the name. What is the meaning of Jehovah Rapha? Titali tuambia, the Lord our healer. Number two, alikuwa Jehovah Elohika. Jehovah Elohika. What is the meaning of Jehovah Elohika? The Lord thy God. Uh -huh, that is number two. Number three, Jehovah Hosenu. What is the meaning of Jehovah Hosenu? The Lord our maker. Number four, Tita Litfunza Kusu, the name Jehovah Shalom. What is the meaning of Jehovah Shalom? The Lord our peace. Mm -hmm. Na number five, Jehovah Rohi. What is the meaning of Jehovah Rohi? The Lord my shepherd. Uh -huh. Number six, Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Shama, the Lord is present. Na katuelezea the different places in the Bible to napata those names. So that was six marks. Kwa sababu they were six names but you are supposed only to discuss three names i hope you are marking number two name two importance of knowing the names of god name two importance of knowing the names of god kwa nini huwa tunajua the names of god number one there were two marks the knowledge will increase your love for god ukijua the names of god Unaweza ku increase your love, kumpenda mungu, unampenda zaidi. Number two, it should affect the way you trust God and his promises. So in effect, vile tunamini mungu na promises zake. Number three, it should help and improve your worship of the Lord in person and in church. So in a improve our worship, vile tuna worship mungu, chukijua haya majina yake, our worship in a improve. Number three was quote scripture and the memory verse of the day. The memory verse of the day was Psalms chapter 9 verse 10. And it says, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. They that know their na thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Very good. Psalms 9:10 was the memory verse. So end up no wangali etena. Okay. Now, a life of purpose. Maisha yaliona malengo. What is the meaning of purpose? Tutaanza na hapo. Purpose ni the reason for which something is created or for which something exists. Nitaelezea. Sababu kitu kiliumbwa 
ama kitu kiko kwa nini hicho kitu kitu kiko vile ambavyo kilivyo for example ukinitazama niko na hii podium kazi yake ni nini mtoto kazi yake ni mwalimu anapofunza anapata mahali pa kuwekelea vitabu vyake aweze kufunza so the purpose ni for me to put my books niwe comfortable as I'm teaching I also have something else I have a glass na hiyo glass iko na nini ndani iko na maji so what is the purpose of this glass ni kuweka maji mtu aweze kufanya nini kukunywa so the purpose is it's used to take water or for drinking water you put water in it then you take that is the purpose so the reason for which something exists it's the purpose na sasa sisi tunataka kujifunza why do we exist why did god create us that is the purpose why did god create you young boy young girl and anyone who is viewing us today we want to learn living a life of fulfilling the reason god created us kama vile the glass ina fulfill the reason of it being used as a place to put water for us to drink all this podium as a place where we can place our books to enable us to teach that is the purpose now tutasoma the story of esther the story of esther uh, chapter 4 verses 1 to 17 and uh, in the story of esther it's a long story but tuta angalia to chapter 4 chapter 4 there was a law a law ama a decree ambayo uh, ilisemekana that all the children of israel all the israelites wawe annihilated ama wauliwe so hapa tunaona that decree tunaona ati watoto wote all the jews were killed on the 13th day of the 12th month na waliposikia hivyo they started weeping but there was a man who was called Mordecai Mordecai alikuwa kazini ya Esther so what happened to this man Mordecai vile alisikia ati sisi tunauliwa kuna mtu ameitwa anaitwa Haman ambaye alienda akaambia king that all the Jews should be killed what happened to Mordecai Mordecai akaanza kuweep akararua mavazi yake huyu ni Mordecai ambaye tunaona akararua mavazi yake akavaa ash akajipaka ash akavaa sackcloth akaanza kuweep na alipoanza kuweep akazunguka the whole town akiweep akiweep kuweep ni kulia kulia akalia 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 alafu akaenda at the king's gate kwa gate ya mfalme akakaa hapo wakati alikaa hapo kazini yake Esther alikuwa queen who is a queen queen ni wife ya king akasikia kazini yake Mordecai amerarua mavazi yake na na whip na amejipaka ash akatuma servant wake alikuwa anaitwa Hadak akaambia Hadak nimesikia Mordecai hana mavazi shika hizi nguo umpeleke akampelekea nguo hapa tunaona Hadak akipelekea Mordecai nguo but Mordecai unaona akifanya nini anakata anasema hizo nguo sizitaki akamwambia enda uambie Esther sitaki hizo nguo so Hadak akaenda akaambia Esther ha amekata kuvaa nguo na Mordecai wakati wenye Hadak alirudi akamwambia nataka uende uambie Esther ya kwamba kuna alo ama kuna mambo ambayo king amesema na amesema ajwe amesema Haman ame promise pesa mingi sana kwa the treasury kwa sababu ya all the Jews to be killed so all the Jews wakikuwa killed there will be money that will be paid in the treasury so hapa anamuelezea the decree anamuelezea what has happened anamuelezea Haman ametumana ya kwamba all the Jews will be killed and money will be taken to the treasury so akamwambia enda uambie Esther hivyo 
okay akaenda aka report to Esther Esther Mordecai ameniambia ya kwamba all the Jews wamesema watauliwa na Haman lakini Esther akamwambia sasa tutafanya aje Mordecai alikuwa ameambia hadha ambie Esther aende kwa king amwambie yeyote amwambie whatever Haman has said So Hadak akarudi kwa Esther Esther akamwambia mimi siezienda kwa king kwa nini kwa sababu hawezienda kwa king unless akuite na for 30 days sijaitwa so mimi nikienda kwa king king it is known that king ataniua so akamwambia enda uambie Mordecai ya kwamba siwezi enda kwa king kwa sababu hajaniita na akaenda akaambia Mordecai Mordecai akamwambia sawa endo muambie asipoenda kwa king yeye pia yeye sisi tukikufa pia yeye atakufa pia yeye hata kuwa spared juu ni queen na Mungu atatuma msaada hata kama atatumia nje nyingine akaenda akaambia Esther what Mordecai amemwambia akamwambia Esther Mordecai ameniambia ya kwamba this is the time You don't know whether you're in the king palace because of such a time as this. Mordecai amesema wewe enda kwa mfalme na utetee the Jews. But Esther akamwambia sawa. Basi enda uambie Mordecai aga the all the Jews. Achukue all the Jews, they pray and fast for three days and for three nights. Wasikule kitu ama wasikunywe kitu for three days and for three nights. Na mimi pamoja na my my servants I will do the same. For three days I will not drink or eat anything. Ili wakati wenye nitaenda mbele ya mfalme nipate kibali, mfalme anikubalie na niweze kutetea my people who are the Jews. So that is what happened. Now, nitafikisha hapo. That is Esther chapter 4. Facts about purpose. Today we are learning about purpose. Na tumesema purpose is the reason why something was created so what are the facts about purpose number one, god is our creator we are learning about our lives so wewe life yako ni mungu ali create akakupatia kama vile tuko na that carpenter ambaye ali make this podium tuko na that worksmith ambaye ali make this glass So God is the one who made us. He's the one who created us. That's a fact. Fact number two. He created each one of us uniquely. Ali tutengeneza akatuumba in a unique way. Unique in a manisha special. You are special, I am special. Vila hiki tu metengenezwa in a special way. We are created uniquely you are different you are special ha, mtoto hata nikwambie hakuna mtoto mwingine kama wewe hakujawahi kuwa na hakutawahi kuwa you are special aha number three. fact he created each one of us for a purpose kwa hivyo after ame ku create another fact haja ku create tu ukae tu hivyo uishi tu hivyo mhm ame ku create kwa sababu akona lengo akona nia na hiyo nia anataka wewe ufanye akona purpose what is your purpose number four. his purpose for us is in line with his word purpose yako reason why god ali create reason why you are existing iko in line with the word of god iko kulingana na bible haiko nje ya bible iko kulingana na bible Uh -huh. So before we look at our memory verse tutaangalia how do we realize our purpose Tumesema Mungu alitumba na akatumba with a purpose na sisi ni unique basi tutajuaje that purpose tutajuaje ati kama hii glass vile tunajua ni ya kukunyia maji sisi tumeumbwa kwa nini wewe mtoto ukiwa hapo nyumbani why do you live si tu kwenda shule na kufunzwa na kurudi nyumbani mm -mm, you are beyond that there is a reason and you should meet that reason number one, you should know 
our creator. We should know our creator who is God. Without God, then we cannot live a life of purpose. So that is our number one. We should real, the way we realize our purpose is knowing God as our creator. Number two, asking him through prayers to reveal his purpose for us. Sasa tumejua mungu nie ametumba. Tunarudi kwake kupitia maombi, kupitia fasting. Tunamuambia God, sasa mimi uliniumba nifanye nini? What is my use here on earth? What is my purpose? For example, like me, what is my purpose? My purpose is teaching. I'm a teacher. So there is what I am doing that God created me to do. Amen. So number two, ask God. God, why did you create me? Na kwa sababu God nie aliumba ears, ata yehu anaskia. Na kwa sababu nie aliumba mouth, ata yehu anongea. Anatuambia, ana answer your prayers by telling you why he created you. Number three, reading his word to know his will for us. Nimekwambia his purpose is in line with the word of God. Ukisoma the word of God, you see different men and women of God and what God created them for. We see King David, we see Samson who delivered uh, the, uh, the Israelites. To know so many people, Paul who was an apostle. So when we read the word of God, we are able to see why God create men? Uh -huh. Number four, discover and use that unique talent and gift. Nimekwambia, God ame to create uniquely. Nandani yako, ameweka nini? A gift or a talent. Hiyo enye ameweka ndani yako. Uki discover, know to me, that is your purpose. For example, what is in this glass of water? It is water. So inside the glass, there is water. Inside you, there is a talent, there is a gift. So when you realize it, then you are able to live a life of purpose. You are able to fulfill your purpose. So that is how we realize our purpose. Okay. Lesson learned. Now, why should we live a life of purpose? What is the importance of living a life of purpose? What do we learn? Number one, we please God our creator. We please God our creator. Mungu akiona tunaishi maisha ambayo alikusudia sisi tuishi alipo tuumba anafurahia. You can imagine mtoto hiki, this podium upate tumeka ndio shurak, tumeka viatu. Mtoto akitoka uko nje anaeka makrocks zake hapo. Viatu zake ziko na vumbi anaeka hapo gambut. Sasa kampeta mwenye alitengeneza hii akuje aone umeweka viatu. Si atashanga, atashanga. So God is happy when we use our bodies and our lives for his purpose. Number 2, we glorify God through our lives. Mungu anapokea utukufu. Anafurahia kwa sababu ya kwa sababu yetu kufanya kusudi ambalo alifanya lilifanya atuumbe. We glorify God through our lives. So when we live a life of purpose, Mungu anapokea utukufu. Tukiweza ku use that talent and that gift Mungu anakuwa glorified kwa sababu ni ya litupatia that talent and that gift. Watu wengine wakiona, wow, ameimba vizuri. Wow, vile anafanya hiyo hesabu, tunaelewa, wow. So God gets the glory. Then number three, we get to our destinies. Tumefunzo maramingi kuhusu hatima zetu, our destiny. Mahali, mungu alitarajia ama mepanga ufike. So as we live a life of purpose, what are we doing? We are going to our destinies. We are getting to our destinies. Number four, we enjoy life. Kwa sababu tunaishi maisha ambayo mungu alikusudia tuishi. Hatu ngangani, hatu struggle. Now you can imagine, mimi niende, ni, niende niwe daktari for example. 
I can't enjoy kwa sababu it's not in me. Vile mungu ameniwaya, nita strain, labda kuona mgonjwa, na shindwa. You see? But sasa when I leave my purpose, I enjoy. Asubui ni na muka, na jua ni naenda kufunza, na furahi. You too, when you live a life of purpose, you live an enjoyable life. Wow. Mtoto, I hope you desire to know your purpose. Uh -huh. Our memory verse, it is in the book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 14b. Tumesoma Esther chapter 4, ama nime narrate story ya Esther chapter 4, there is a specific verse ambao ningetaka tuangalie. That is, Esther 4, 14b inasema, and who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. Nani amejua your purpose kuwa a queen ni wakati kama huu. Ufanye nini? Utete the Jews to the king. Na hakuna mtu mwingine angenda before the king na king amskize kama the wife, the queen. So that was Esther's purpose to be a queen at such a time as this. Kutetea nani? The, Jew, the Jews. What is your purpose today? Why are you living? Don't just live aimlessly. Usikae today. No. Go to God and tell God, God, I want to realize that gift, uh, that uh, talent amba umeeka ndani yangu. Ili nifanya nini? Ni live a life of purpose. Wow. Now, after that lesson, lazima tuone kama tume understand through the following questions. Draw and color Queen Esther and the King. We have Queen Esther Pale, na King, wa Chore, na Wakale. Na, you can download a copy of the same from www.mbcimedia.com slash amastroke kids. Utapata Esther and the King, then you color them. Number one, according to our lesson, this is for the upper classes. According to our lesson, what was Esther's purpose as a queen? Si tumesuma yu. Na tukasema in our memory verse, Esther chapter 4 verse 14 B. That was the purpose. Go back to that and you write that as your answer to Max. Number two, state any three facts about purpose. Facts. What are the facts about purpose? Aha, uh -huh, three Max. Number three, give any three ways of how we realize our purpose. How do we realize our purpose? Three marks. Number four, give at least two importance of living a purposeful life. Why should we live a purposeful life? That importance equal the lesson learned in our topic today. So those, that is our lesson today, living a life of purpose. Mtoto, na yeyote mwingine ambaya na tutazama, we cannot live a life of purpose without God, our creator. So if you don't have God in your life, through receiving Jesus Christ as your personal savior, then you cannot live a life of purpose. You cannot enjoy life. You will live to struggle. So I want to invite you. Nataka ni kukaribishe uweze kumpokea bwana Yesu awe bwana na mokozi wa maisha yako na baadaye tutaomba as we conclude our lesson so for that person ambaye ungetaka kumpatia Yesu kumpatia ma Yesu maisha yako uh, repeat after me sema bwana Yesu asante kwa nafasi ya kulisikia neno lako ninaomba unisamehe dhambi na makosa yangu nisafishe Nifanye mwana, niwe mwana wako siku ya leo. Nina kukubali, uwe bwana na mokozi wa maisha yangu. Siku ya leo, nimeokoka. Katika jina la Yesu, nimeomba na kuamini. Amen. So you are a Christian. Uh, tafuta Sunday school. Mahali unapoweza una kuenda, ufunzwe na we na nafasi ya kumjua Mungu zaidi pia kama wewe ni 
mkubwa go to a church and God will bless you situmalize ibada yetu kwa maombi father we thank you because of your goodness and love upon our lives thank you oh god for reminding us that we should live a life of purpose just as it is written about david in the book of acts 13 that after david had served your purposes in his generation he rested we pray that you'll also allow us and give us an opportunity to serve you in our generation in jesus name i pray for my hearer my god my viewer my father yakwamba they will desire to love you they will desire to seek your purpose for their lives in jesus name and as they do that may you reveal yourself to them O oh god that they may live purposeful lives they may live to please you and your name will live to be glorified we give you we praise we worship you and it's in the mighty name of jesus that we do pray believing and trusting amen amen god bless you we love you and god loves you more we will go, we will be your